Good morning. How's it going, everybody? It's been a while. <clears throat> Just waiting for my friends to hop on. We have a great workout planned today. Gonna need some weights because we're gonna start with upper body today. So go ahead and take a second to grab some weights and we'll get going shortly. Hi guys, who's on? I think Brooklyn's on. Who else is here? I'm gonna grab some water and I'll be right back. Brooklyn, it looks like it's just you and me, kid. Give everybody a second to pop on. <clears throat> I know a couple other people are planning on joining. It has definitely been a weird week without planning and showing and coaching workouts this week, but it's been really nice to have a little bit of a break. But I did miss you guys, so I'm excited to be back, back at it. So um, if you missed it right when I signed on, uh, grab a set of weights or um, cans or something, water bottles, anything to just give your arms a little bit of resistance. Uh, we're going to start with upper body, then we're going to go into some Tabatas, that um, a core focused Tabata, a lower body focused Tabata, and then an upper body focused Tabata just to give your upper body a little bit more of a rest till the end, and then we'll uh, end with a little finisher, and uh, we'll be good to go. So I'll wait like one or two more minutes to get started. Uh, if anybody else is going to join us, and then we'll go for it. You want to come say hi? Yeah. Of course you can come say hi. Come here. Oh, Aspen is excited to see you guys. Can you say good morning? Can you say good morning? No, we're just gonna giggle. We're just gonna giggle. <laughs> Can you wave at least? No. Can you blow a kiss? No. No. Nothing. No. Are you gonna sit in here or are you gonna go back and watch your show with sissies? Do you wanna hang out in here or go back with sissies? What do you want to do? I, yeah. You want to hang out here? Okay, I gotta put you down those so I can exercise. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Oops. There we go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and get started. People can hop on as they like. All right. Hey, man. Hey, what? Oh, pretzel. Fun. All right, guys. We're going to just start with a nice big arm cross. Um, the upper body portion was inspired by a couple of different workouts I did this week while I was rehabbing my um, hamstring a little bit uh, on Fit On. Uh, it's a free app. I love it. Um, I just started using it this week, actually. I'd had it downloaded on my phone for a long time, but I do this so often that I was like, I don't really need more 
more little, you know, hit focus workouts, but there's a ton on there. There's, um, we're gonna do arm circles now to the front. Uh, there's yoga, there's dance, there's um, all kinds of different like upper body, lower body focus things, sculpting, Pilates. So if you're getting tired of me, getting tired of my voice, getting tired of our workouts, mix it up. Go on Fit On, um, F-I-T-O-N. It's a great app. Um, got some fun trainers on there that I've followed on Instagram for a while, uh, back to Chris Crosses. And uh, yeah, I just, I really love it. It's all free content. You can pay more for like, them to play premium music during your your workout, but I've not really like had any needs or wants for any extra content through there. But it's super fun. There's a social element too. Uh, one arm back at a time. There's a social element on there too. So if you get on, friend me on there, and we can see what each other's done. We can uh, recommend workouts to each other, switch sides, and uh, all that jazz. So anyway. Not a paid advertisement. Obviously, I'd love to see you guys here with me, but I totally get that it's fun to mix it up, and I like being coached too. So it's it's nice for me to have a little a little extra help. All right, here we go. We're going into a high knee march. Hands pop up to knees, or knees pop up to hands. Yeah, it has been a while. Can't even remember my body parts yet. Good job. Get them up. Four. Three, two, one. Now take it wide. So same thing, marching with the high knee. We're just taking it side to side. It's so my, my hand hot. My knees are just coming up to the hands. Good job, guys. We're almost there. Four, three, two, one. Swing the leg front to back. Use those arms to give you a little bit of counterbalance, momentum. Good job. We got three, two, one. Switch sides. Nice work. Almost there. Keep the chest nice and tall. Four, three, two, and one. Little jog in place. Gonna start to get the heart rate up a little bit. Little jog. Going to butt kickers. I got a job. You're doing a jog? Three, two, one. Back to a little jog in place. Jog in place. Jog in place. Now we're gonna go to high knees in three, two, one. Get them up in front. Good job, guys. Nice work. Keep it up. Four, three, two, one. Back to your little jog. Nice work. Losing my pants. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, one. And your jumping jacks. The peanut gallery over here. Good job, y'all. Keep it up. Nice work. Feel that heart rate rising a little bit. We're there in four, three, two, and one. Shake out the legs, shake out the arms. Big inhale up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale. Bring it down, inhale up. This time, swan dive forward, flat back, come on down to the floor. My hamstring's a little, little ginger still, so if you notice, I'm kinda taking it a little slow. You can push right past me, take it up a notch. Take your hands over to the right foot, big strut here, feels really good. Walk the hands over to the left. Come to center, walk it out to downward dog. Pedal out your heels here, right, left, right, left. So you're gonna turn, you know, like that. Good job. 
Press both heels down into the mat. Press the chest through the arms. And looks back towards your toes. We rock forward into a plank. Just to start firing up that core. We're gonna to wanna to engage during our upper body segment. Roll the hips over to the left. Raise the right arm to the sky. Bring the hands back to center. Once you're back in your perfect plank position, roll the hips to the right. Left arm comes to the sky. Back to center. Go through that a couple more times on each side. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it back down. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it back down. Go at your own pace. Two more on each side. Last one for me. Meet in downward dog. So finish at your leisure. Come back to downward dog when you finish those openers. Hold it here for four, three, two, and one. Grab the elbows and just rock side to side. Roll on up to center. Shake it out. We're going to just quickly do a couple little head rolls. So we're going to start just ear goes right to left. Right to left. Right to left. Almost there. One more each side. Hold it over to the right. Roll the chin down to the left. Chin just goes to chest. We're not taking it around to the back. We're just rolling it to the front. Yes, sweetie, you can. Good job, guys. Almost there for three, two, and one. Roll those shoulders back. Clasp the hands behind. Straighten them out. Puff that chest out, but keep the rib cage pulled in. Open up those shoulders in the chest. Bring it around, help clasp the hands, really round your back. Push away. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Back to the back again. Clasp and pull down. Nice work. Four, three, two, one. Grab and push. Good job, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Bring it up to the top. Just a little rock side to side and we'll be ready to go. All right, guys, so grab those weights. We're gonna go ahead into our upper body circuit. Sorry, there's a hair on my tongue. It's driving me crazy. There we go, baby hairs. They're so fine and they're always in my mouth. Okay. We got 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. So we're starting with a squat to overhead press with a single arm. So you just need one weight at a time. And where on earth did I put my Oh, they're right here. I walked right over them to get to you. So we're starting here with this arm straight out in front. We're squatting. We overhead press. We squat, overhead press. We got one minute, or sorry, 45 seconds of that on one side. 15 second rest, we'll switch to the other side, guys. So, timer's coming. You'll hear me call time on the 45 second portion. And then that one's gonna be too heavy for you. You wanna lift this one? There you go. Yeah. Okay, be careful, don't drop it on your toes. All right, guys, so my kid's showing me up, using the same amount of weight as me. Here we go. We got a minute on the clock. We're starting with the weight in the right hand. Here we go, three, two, one, let's go. We go into a squat, overhead press. Good job, pull that belly button in, send the booty way back. 
Arm goes straight overhead, wow. full extension. Put it down then. Pick up the green weight. It's lighter. Ooh. Nice job, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Is that one heavy too? Yeah. yeah. Almost there, guys. We got 10 seconds on this side. Careful. Don't hurt your toes. Almost there, guys. And time. Yeah. All right, shake that arm out. We're switching sides. Kick yeah. the legs out if you'd like. Yeah. Yeah, that one better. Here we go. In four, yeah. three, yeah. two, one. Wrap that yeah. weight up. Let's go. Squat and press. Yeah. I like single arm moves because you can really tell the difference between your strength levels on each side and you get to work them equally. I know sometimes for me, if I'm holding, especially a single bar or even dumbbells, I feel like sometimes my right arm dominates the move. Even if I'm holding two separate ones, like I just feel like my, be careful, the right arm is getting more work than the left because my left tends to be weaker. But when you separate them and you make them work equally hard, you can really feel the results. Almost there, three, two, one. Let's do it. Forward and up. It is, can I use that one? Thank you. Nice work, guys. Keep that belly button pulled in. Nice work. Nice and smooth. So these aren't punches, right? These are lifts. So we're just raising them up and raising them out nice and slow. Control, breath, belly button pulled in. You guys are doing great. Almost there, five seconds. And time. Nice work, next one coming up is a row to chin. So weights are together in the middle. Your elbows lead. The so weights just come up to the chin. Here we go. In three, two, one little bend in the knees. Still standing straight up. No bend in the waist. Pull that belly button in. Elbows lead first, okay? Good job. Keep those weights together. They're in sync, in harmony. You got this. Where is my mat going back there, Miss Aspen? Are you fixing it for me? Thank you. Good job, guys. Pull nice and high all the way up to that chin. Good work. Almost there. We're going to do this all again. So if you don't have the right weight right now, it's okay. Grab the right weight next time. So maybe you need to go grab something heavier, like a laundry detergent container or your, uh, your Dutch oven or something. Or you might need to lighten up a little bit. Go just grab a couple cans from the pantry. No big deal. Almost there time. Okay, guys. So we're next going to tricep extensions. So these go back over your head. Let's go. Jump in with me when you can. I went a little long in that last one. Sorry. Tricep extensions. Belly buttons pulled in. You got this. You're just going to 90 degrees. Up to straight. Good job. Nice work. Good job, guys. You got it. Keep it up. Ten seconds. These hurt so good. I love them. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Next up, we're going into flies. So you're bent over at like a 45 degree angle. Your feet are going to be together, a little bit in your knees. The elbows are bent. You're just pulling open, pulling those shoulder blades together. Let's go. Shoulder blades together in the back. Shoulders are down and relaxed. Chins up off the chest, but a nice bend, hinged at the waist. Flat back. Good job, guys. Hopefully you're feeling these. I know I am. Nice work. 
Nice and controlled. See how I'm coming together nice and slow. I'm not letting them bang together using gravity. I'm fighting against gravity to slowly bring them together. Good job. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, next up, serving tray. So we're going front to side, front to side. So you're gonna go straight to a diagonal. Here we go. Biceps nice and engaged, front to diagonal. Good job. Keep those shoulders down. These are no joke. They look like child's play, but really they're not. Good job, guys. Chin off the chest, keep the shoulders down. If you're getting tired, just drop the weights. Do these weight unweighted. You got it. Just keep moving, we're almost there. 10 seconds. Let's go. Almost there. You got this. Three, two, one time. Woo. I think I'm gonna do it's a wide row. So your weight together in front of you. We're in that hinged position again with the knees slightly bent. We're rowing wide. So again, elbows lead. We're pulling out and back. So unlike the fly, we don't have our, our hands pointing down to the floor. Our hands are pointing towards our body or the back wall the whole time. Pulling those elbows up. Pulling the shoulder blades together. Different muscle group though than the fly. We're not working our chest quite as much. We're working our back more. Trying to do a pull, a pull move for every push move we do. Keep ourselves evened out in the front and the back. Good job, guys. Pull with those backs. Feel them squeeze. Pull that belly button in. You got 10 more seconds. Good job. Control, control. It's the name of the game. Get those elbows up and time. Good job, guys. We're going to take a short little break. We're going to go through that one more time. All right. So I'm going to give you a minute to rest. Get a drink of water. Once the timer goes, we go. So we're starting out with that squat to overhead press. So as you're getting ready, you can drop one of your weights. Get your legs primed, ready to go. Got about 30 more seconds on the clock. You can roll out the shoulders. Stretch the chest out. I'm just using my weight as a little extra pull to open my chest up. Yeah, baby, you can watch till we're done, okay? All right, here we go. We got about 10 more seconds left. About 15, sorry. Here we go. Squat to overhead press. We're going to have our left arm out in front. Rack that right weight up on your, your shoulder. Three, two, one. One, let's go, let's get after it. Get it work. Let's go. Let me see a good squat too. I know we're focusing on upper body, but I wanna see good squat form. Keep that chest up, nice and tall. Sit that be way back, like you're sitting in a little kid's chair behind you. Nice work. Good job, guys. 15 seconds. Keep that arm nice and flat, that top arm with no weight. Keep it straight, parallel to the ground. Almost there, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch hands, shake out the arm, shake out the legs. We're going to the left side. Wrap that weight up on the shoulder. Right arm comes out nice and straight. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good job. Nice work, guys. You're looking good. Keep it up. Nice, guys. Doing great. Keep it up. You got this. Nice. Chin off that chest, pull that belly button in. 
Don't lose your good form. Yes, sweetie. Good job. Use that tricep and that yeah. that right. Straight arm. Three, two, one. Time. Okay, guys, going forward to overhead press. Here we go. Roll those shoulders back and down. Here we go. Three, two, one. Forward to overhead. Forward to overhead. She can choose. So you guys are just playing. Good job, guys. Breathe. Control. Don't let your hips come forward. Keep your pelvis tucked. Belly button in nice and tight. It's hard to tell, so I have a kind of blousey shirt on today. Keep the pelvis tucked in. Glutes squeeze tight. Belly button pulled in. Nice work. Almost there. We've got 10 seconds left. Almost there. Three, two, one. Time. Next thing we're doing is going to row to chin. So, you can tall, tiny little bend in the knees, micro bend. Here we go. Weights are together. Let's go. Elbows lead. Bring the weights up to your chin. Try not to let your hands break. Keep the wrists nice and straight the whole time. So, I don't want to see floppy wrists trying to come up like ghost hands. All right? You're not a puppet. You are, you are a powerful warrior queen. Let's go. Or work on an old timey railroad card because now that I'm watching myself do this in a mirror like setting, I feel like I'm pushing one of those carts on a railroad. Here we go. Less glamorous than a warrior queen. Same muscles. Here we go. And time. Good job, guys. Heading into tricep extensions. Pick those bad boys up, pop them overhead. Remember? Right angle, straight, here we go. Pull that rib cage in, pull the booty in, belly button in tight, just moving through the triceps. This is a good isolating move, where if you're not feeling your triceps, you know you're moving too much other parts of your body. Keep those elbows nice and narrow around your head. I can feel my arms on my ears. Good job, guys. Almost there. Breathe. Chin off the chest. Relax those shoulders down. Your shoulders should not be touching your ears. So you shouldn't be sticking your head through like a turtle. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good job, guys. Okay, next up are flies. So we're going to bend over. At that nice little 45 degree angle. Elbows up in. We're pulling through our chest. Here we go. Get those shoulder blades pulling together in the back. Like you're trying to squeeze a golf ball back there in between your shoulder blades. Feel your chest. Pushing those arms up and back. Nice job. Nice work, guys. <laughs> Keep it up, keep it up. Nice work. Maintain that nice flat back. The nice bend in the hips. Pull on that belly button. And then I know it looks like I'm pooching it out because I have this nice big glossy shirt on today. But I'm pulling my belly button in too. And time. Good job, guys. Next one we got is the serving tray. So we go front diagonal. Hi, sweetie. Here we go. Three, two, one. Serve it forward. Serve it out. Little bend in the knees. Pull that belly button in. Nice flat, straight back. Going forward, side. Forward, sides. Good job. Nice work. Keep it up. Hopefully you're feeling the burn. I know I am. Just little measly five pounders. I love it. Good job. Almost there, we got 15 seconds. Less than an hour, we're down to 10. 
Good job. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, shoulders. Hey, what's up? All right, last thing we got is the wide row. So back down in that hinge position. Weights are together. Palms are facing to the back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Pull it up. Lead with those elbows. Good job. Nice work. Feel the back pulling up. Pull that belly button in. Little baby bend in the knees. Nice flat back. Good job. Engage those glutes. Push all four corners of the feet into the floor. Feel that strength in your legs. Giving you a nice base to pull against. Good job, guys. Almost there. Got that. Ten seconds left. Nice work. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, guys. Go ahead and push your down. We're going to go into Tabata rounds next. Uh, we're going to start with a core, a core round. So go ahead and rest. I'm just going to start explaining we're not getting ready just yet. I'm starting with sumo crunches. Oh, my arms. Hey, yo. Okay, so nice big sumo squat or goddess pose. Your hands are coming behind your ears. We're going to be tapping knee to elbow or elbow to knee on each side. Okay, so in that nice deep squat. Then we're going cross body mountain climber. So if you're wanting to take this down a notch, I want you to have your, your hands up here, kind of at your chest level. You're going to be reaching your knees across like this. Instead of being on the ground, if you're on the ground, I'm going to see a high plank. We're crossing our knees to our elbows on the ground. So same, same concept, but you're giving your, your core a little bit more challenge. All right, so. We're going to start the Tabata time in just a moment. Sumo crunches and cross body mountain climbers. Hopefully you're refreshed, ready to go. Got my interval timer ready for you. 10 seconds on the clock. Going right into it. Sumos and cross body mountain climbers. Here we go. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Let's go get low. Tap those elbows to the knees. All the way going side to side. Nice work. I always feel these the next day. Keep it up, guys. Good job. Four, three, two, one. Time. All right. Going across body mountain climbers. So head down. Into your floor plank position or get those hands up ready to go. Let's do it. Nice job, guys. Keep those hips in line with the shoulders. Don't let them pop up. Nice work. Drive them across. Nice control. Pull that belly button in. Three, two, one. Time. I'm going to turn on my timer so you guys can hear it too. Nice work. Here we go. Back to sumo crunches. Let's do it. Side to side. Nice big squat. Get those knees nice and wide. Knees are tucking over the toes. Nice work. Keep it in a nice flat plane. Like you're a bobblehead. Good job. Nice work. Yes, sweetie. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Cross body mountain climbers. Get after it. You can take these slow too. You do not have to go as fast as I'm going. They will still be effective if you move nice and slow like this through them. But if you want to add a little cardio, go speed it up a little bit. Time. Back to sumo crunches. Here we go. Three, two, one. Chest up, let's do this. Nice work. Good job. Keep it up, keep it up. 
Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, shake them out. Let's go down for those mountain climbers. Four, three, two, let's do it. Nice job, keep the chin off the chest. You don't have to be looking up toward the wall in front of you, but I do want you to look kind of right in between where your hands are, or even a little bit in front of that, maybe at the top of your mat. But you don't need to crane your neck, but I don't want you tucking it in. Let's look at your feet either. Time. Last round. Shake them out, let's go. Sumo squat, three, two, one. Let's do it. Side to side. Nice work. Keep it up. Keep it up. You got this. Nice. Four, three, two, and one. Come standing. Last time out, climbing. You got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Nice work. Push those hands into the mat so you're creating some nice tension into your chest, through those arms, really working your core. Big twist through here. Good job, guys. Three, two, one, time. Take a sip of water. We're gonna go into our lower body portion. And that one kind of felt like a lower body portion, huh? For being real. The next one we got coming up while you rest, squat jump to lunge. After that, we've got goddess heel raises. So I'm gonna have to move up a little bit, give myself a little bit more space than just my mat. Um, excuse me, that's here. Weights everywhere. So your squat is a jump. We go right into a lunge, come back to a squat, into a lunge. If you do not want to be jumping through this, right? Because it's a lot on the joints to be moving at different angles and constantly jumping. If you want to take it down a notch, you squat, you lunge back. You squat, you lunge back. At this angle, it's kind of hard to tell. It's not a curtsy lunge. It's a lunge straight forward and back. So I'm squatting, taking it straight back behind. Squatting, taking it straight back behind. So it's just a matter of shifting my weight over one leg, back to center, Shifting my weight over to the other side, taking it to the back. All right, so that's number one. Number two, goddess heel raises. So back to that nice big deep sumo pose, hands together with the heart. We're gonna be lifting one heel at a time, working through that calf. Also really testing those quads, okay? Here we go. Jump, lunge, from squat. Here we go. Got 10 seconds on the clock, no we don't, it never started. Here we go. Now we're for real. All right, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. We squat, we jump to lunge, back to squat, into a lunge. Good job, guys. Nice work. Try to land quietly. Try not to thud like a ninja, like a cat. Whatever your spirit quiet animal is right now, be it a butterfly landing on a flower, time. Good job, shake it out. Here we go, goddess heel raises. Get those legs nice and wide, get down low. Let's go pop up one heel at a time. Nice work, keep it up. Get that heel to its maximum height over top of those toes. Good job. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Shake it out. Back to squat, jump to lunge. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Let's do it. I'm gonna face you this time. See if you get the angle. Good job. Nice job. Keep it up, almost there. Five seconds. Good work. Three, two, one. Nice, shake it out. Here we go. Into that nice 
deep squat. Get after, let's go. Raise those heels up. Nice work. Almost there, drop an inch. If you feel like you feel yourself popping up, lower yourself back down. Good job. Three, two, one. Time. Squat to lunge. Good job, guys. I'm taking it down a notch, but adding some weight. It's a cute little 22 pounder here. <laughs> Is this funny? Time. Good job. You can do the next one, okay? You'll get the next round. Here we go. Heel raises. Perfect. <laughs> you got her? I got her. It's okay. Almost there, guys. Lower an inch. Three, two, one. Time. All right. Do you want a round? You want to take a round? I got three, two. Don't kick, please. Here we go. Are you going forward? Okay. Good job, guys. Stick with it. <sighs> Nice. This one feels like a 22 and a half pounder. Good job, guys. Three, two, one, time. All right, here we go. Got it. With the heel raise, last round. Let's do it, get low. Pop up those heels, you got it. Nice work. Having fun? Good. Almost there. Get lower. Good job. Yeah. Three, two, one. Time. Good job. Shake those legs out. They earned a little break. Hey, hey, hey. No snacks on the couch. No snacks on the couch. You gonna sit right here? Okay guys, last round is upper body focus, but it's also gonna be a core blaster too. We got plank walkouts to push ups, followed by plank jacks. So, we're going reaching up, we walk straight out along the mat, we hit a push up at the bottom. You can drop to your knees for these two. Pop back up to your plank, walk it back in, okay? Again, you'll see I'm getting a little ginger with my uh, hamstring. You don't have to go as slow as I'm going. You can speed it up. After that, we're going to plank jack. So, as we know, there's two options. Level one, in a, in a plank, or tapping out, just one foot at a time. Get as much distance, range of motion in your hips as you can. You can also do this on your knees, too, if you need to take a little break. Just tap the toe out with a bent knee. Bring it back to center, okay? Remember now, don't stick your butt on your extra back. Keep it tucked in with a nice flat back. Okay, level two, we come up to our plank, we jump it in and out, in a jumping jack of sorts. All right, so plank walk out to push up, plank jacks, last round of Tabata. And we got a three minute finisher, and we're done. Are you making a bed? Yeah. All right. And he's getting sleepy already. Here we go. Plank walk out to push up. Let's go. Keep the chin off the chest. Lead those push ups with your chest. Okay, not your chin, not your forehead. Definitely not your forehead. Good job, guys. Nice work. Stand up nice and tall. Get one more push up in. Time. Nice work. Okay, guys, we're going into those plank jacks now. So find a position that works for you. Find the speed that works for you. Let's go. Nice work. See my hips? My shoulders are in line. Got that belly button pulled in tight. Nice work. Hands are right under my shoulders. Three, two, one. Nice. Nice. 
in that way. Are you crazy? She just asked for ice cream. There we go. Maybe later today. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Keep moving. Nice work. Good job, y'all. Get one more in. You got this. Time. Head into that place, Jack. Let's go, three, two, one. Let's do it. Chin off the chest. Work. Nice job, y'all. Five, three, two, one, time. Here we go. Back to the With those push ups, if you're getting tired of push up, just cut it. Just go to the plank walkouts. Let's go. Reach up and out. Let's go. Do it to it. Nice work. Good job, guys. Remember to breathe in the push up. Don't hold your breath. Time. Back in the plank jacks. Let's go. Three, two, one. You got this. If this is going to hurt your wrist, go to your fist. Helps you lock out those wrists. Now you use all those little delicate ones. Stretching into, uh, stretching into your fingers. Good job, guys. Three, two, one, and. Here we go, plank walk out. Be kind to each other, please. Here we go. Stand it up, walk it out. Hit that push up if you want. Nice job, guys. Nice work. Nice. Time. Last round of playing jacks. Right here. Oh, I got pillow fort set up in here. Here we go. Get going. My jacket out. Almost there, guys. Nice work. Almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Good job. All right, guys, take a sip of water. Take a sip, take a sip. Mm -hmm. Take a sip of water. She had a bad idea? Yeah. Oh no. All right, guys, last thing that we're going to do, we got three minutes on the clock. Oh, guys, be careful with this. We got five air spots, 10 mountain climbers, and five froggers. So we did this, I think, a couple weeks ago. This takes a finisher. Um, but I'll just keep going for one more time. So five air spots are just a spot with no weight. Just want to air your body weight. <laughs> 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 this isn't too much of a distraction for you guys. Um, 10 mountain climbers. So you hop on down to your mat. Mountain climbers can go nice and straight this time. Just bring the knees to the chest. And you can't be high. Or we do standing ones where we're just going to drive the knee to the chest. After that, we're going to five froggers. So if you want to take it down a notch, the low impact version of these, head that way. And we're going to my legs. Right, go quick. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Okay, low impact froggers, hands down. We walk the feet back, we walk them into the hands. We switch, but that leads each time. So right goes out, right comes in, left goes out, left comes in. Okay, or we're trying to get these toes as close to the heels of our hands as possible. We pop out and in. So five of those. So it goes five, ten, five, five air squats, ten mountain climbers, five froggers.
Three minutes on the clock. I'm already out of breath explaining it. This is going to be fun. Okay, guys, here we go. Three minutes on the clock. Hey, everybody be nice to each other, okay? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to need the mat space, okay? I'm going to need the mat space. Here we go. In three, two, one. Start those air squats. Let's go five of them. Yes, come all the way through at the top. Squeeze those glutes. Good job. Ten mountain climbers. And five froggers. Good job, guys. Back in the five air squats. Keep going. You're on speed. You're on time. You got this. Got two and a half minutes left. Good job, guys. Keep it up. Nice work. Keep it up, guys. You got this. Nice work. You're halfway there, guys. Nice. Get after it. You got this. You are strong. You can do this. You are powerful. You are positive. You are a fierce mama. You got this. Good work. We're almost there, guys. We just have one minute left. Keep it up, keep it up. Guys, we're gonna do a little cool down since I bet you're as sweaty as I am. So let's go ahead and come back to our mat. Big inhale up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale up. Exhale, bring it down to your knees. Little rock side to side. Nice work. He's a Bend the right knee straight and left. He's a fan of life. He just made him. No, he's a fan of life. 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 Hey, Dave, can you stop bringing it all for one second? Yeah. Take some time to tell these people what to do. Back to the right. No, you want to get down? No. Okay, then you're going to get in touch. You're not going to listen. Okay, Aspen, same goes for you, We're almost done. You can have just another minute. All right, guys, so from your runner's lunge, open up the top arm, let's go to the right. 
Hey, Aspen. Stop. Right hand goes down on the inside of that foot. Oh, no, put those away, babe. Put those away. Go down this way. Good job, guys. Come back to center. Bring the back leg in a couple inches. Stretch both legs. Hold over that straight front leg. Nice. Roll on up to standing here. We're going to switch over to the other side. Come to center. Bend the left knee straight and the right. Twist into that nice runner's lunge. Good job. Hold it here for a moment. Feel that hip flexor stretch in the front. Open up towards the bent knee. Arm comes to the sky. Spin the right heel down, right arm opens to the sky. Come back to center. Back leg comes in. Hold over that front straight leg. Roll over to standing. Come to center. Big inhale up. Exhale, swan back forward. Roll on up to standing. Take the right arm across the chest. Give it a nice little squeeze. It's good to be back, guys. Especially with my screaming children in tow. Thank you guys for coming this morning to work out with me. It was fun. I still wish I could see you. That's the beauty of Zoom, but it is harder to record and share. Switch sides. Doing great, guys. Nice work. Pull that one back. Give yourself just a, like a little shoulder massage here. Self massage, self massaging shoulder massage. The back, bring it to the front. Okay, we're gonna crisscross our arms. So you see what I'm doing here? I crisscross over, put the palms together, and then squeeze down in front. Yes, you're gonna squeeze your cleavage together. Get over it. Roll those shoulders down, straight towards your toes. Bring the shoulders up and back, clasp the arms just like we did in the front. Push your, your hands down to the floor. You have to try and touch your heels. Good job. Back to the front, crisscross, and press down. See, you gotta put these back. You don't play with plastic baggies. It's a baggie full of screws. I'm a great mom. Here we go. And switch sides. All right, guys. Go ahead and shake it out. Big inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Last one. Inhale up. Biggest inhale of your day. Inhale, inhale, inhale. Squeeze. Breathe out. Good job today, guys. High five virtually. I miss you. I love you. Thanks for being here with me today. And I hope you had a good time. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.